Hello, brothers and sisters, as we get ready for the Daily Word, just a reminder, Friday we have confessions and adoration of the Blessed Sacrament, 4.30 to 7.30, right here at Resurrection Burtonsville. Hello, everyone. This is the Daily Word for Friday, May the 29th. We're getting far into May, aren't we? And getting close to Pentecost Sunday. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray the Collect. O God, who by the glorification of your Christ and by the light of the Holy Spirit has unlocked for us the gates of eternity, grant, we pray, that partaking of so great a gift, our devotion may grow deeper and our faith be strengthened through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. In the Word of God today, uh, we're traveling through Acts, and uh, it's starting to wrap up. We're in Acts 25, and then we have John, and we're getting far into John as we've been through this whole Easter season, John 21. It's the Simon Peter discourse where do you love me? Jesus asked him the three times. The psalm today is Psalm 103. I'd like to just uh, read it through, not make it a responsorial, but just read it through as a praise psalm and something that we uh, come into, you know, Pentecost with voices of praise, lips of praise. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all my being. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so surpassing is his kindness toward those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far as he put our transgressions from us. The Lord has established his throne in heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, all you angels, you mighty in strength who do his bidding. Psalm 103. As we get uh, through these days of the Novena to the Holy Spirit, and I hope you're following that from uh, my blog or from the Parish Bulletin or from some other source you have, uh, lead into Pentecost with praises to God. You know, God inhabits us with his uplifting power and the Spirit is always trying to get us uh, to be exultant in a relationship between the Father and the Son. See, the Holy Spirit's in there. He's in the relationship of Father and Son. He's right in the middle. His love is really what makes up the third part of the Trinity. <clears throat> and we've been invited right in there. Mm. And the Holy Spirit is saying, get excited because... Um, Jesus Christ has purified you and enabled you now to to come forth and grow and get into this position that is a child of God position. Oh my gosh, it is so great. You know, Jesus has cleansed us of our sins and because of it now, he can come and live inside of us and begin his work. Praise God. Praise God. Let us get excited of what God has done in us. You know, we didn't deserve it, but you know, he wants to bestow on us the, the help of his Holy Spirit to help us keep growing as sons and daughters of the Most High. Uh, what an invitation we have. Why would anything in the world deter us from that? And so our soul is lifted as David wrote a great psalm of praise. <clears throat> Bless the Lord, O my soul, like all oh, from the inside of me. Oh, bless God. What a wondrous God we have. I love you, God, for coming to me, coming to all of us, and offering so great a salvation. I bless you from the very midst of my being, right inside, in the center of my life. I bless your name. Your name means so much to me. It's unlike any other name. I recognize you, O oh Lord, as the reason for my being. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so says Psalm 103, so surpassing is God's kindness. You know, how far and how high have we gone up into the skies? 
and even sailed into orbit and sent things into space. And yet, it's just a, a little bit, isn't it, to all existence? But what about eternity in heaven, where we break through into the sight of God, into the endless wonder of God? Uh, as the heavens are high, so are uh, God's kindnesses. They, they cannot be uh, understood, really. They're so great. As far as the east is from the west has God taken our transgression. So he has separated things as far as they can go in the opposite directions, never to be uh, brought together again. That is a forgiveness. It is total separation from it. And what happens instead? Union with God. And a, a really a getting to know ourselves when we're free from sin getting to know ourselves and delighting, you know? So the ascension is kind of hiding in this psalm where it says he has established his throne in heaven. So that's our Lord Jesus sitting enthroned in glory. His kingdom rules over all. So his kingdom always was there as the eternal son, eternal father, eternal spirit. But now something new, what Jesus has done for us and he represents us. Up there in the heavens are the angels too, blessing God. And so we just join in with the, the songs of the angels, singing our alleluias, our hosannas, our holy holies. We think of two or three places in scripture where the angels were saying, holy, holy, holy is the Lord. And so we know to say that ourselves in mass and also in, in all kinds of prayers. And we speak to the Holy Spirit, help make us holy, O God. And at Pentecost, Come and bestow your wonder upon us who trust in you. Amen.